right there will signify the Powerball. So we have that. Now for the button, uh, we're just going to put generate like so. And then we're going to name this BTN generate. And then that is all you want to do right there. So what you're going to do is you are going to click on the button and underneath that you're going to do a private void and then this is get numbers. So what we're going to have to do first is we're going to be using what's called a ran num. It's basically a random number. So what you want to do is you want to do random and then num ran equals new random and then we are going to do an int val equals zero like so. Now here in the private void get numbers what you want to do is you want to put val equals numran dot next and then you're going to close that off. All right. Now in that random dot next, you need to figure out how many numbers you want to generate. So say for example, with a lottery, it's going to be one and sixty nine. All right. And then the Powerball is one through twenty four. I think something like that. So now we have a value and that value is a random number between 1 and 69. So we want num1 dot text equals and then this is going to be the val dot to string like so. Alright the uh, Val dot two string it basically converts it to a string. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to do what's called a while loop. So uh, we have the while. And this is going to be val dot two string dot equals. And then you're going to have this as your num1 dot text. And then basically what you're going to do is you're going to do the value number again, value equals, and then it's going to be ran or num ran dot next and you are going to close that off. Now in that you are going to want to put the 169 and then that gives you the value for the next slot which would be num2 dot text equals val dot two string like so. All right, now it's going to get really, really easy because what you're going to do is you are going to copy all of this. So you're going to copy and then you're going to paste. Now you want to get rid of this num one right there. All right, now here you have your num1.txt and this is num2. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to copy this. We're going to copy it and we're going to use our or symbols and we're going to paste. We're going to change that to num2 
and we're going to change this to num3. Now, what this does is the next value number is going to put in a while loop and it's going to say, all right, if num3 is equal to num1 and num2, then we're going to generate a number between 1 and 69 that is not equal to 1 or 2 to go in slot 3. So now what you're going to do for the rest of them, you're going to copy and then you're going to go down, you're going to paste, and now this is going to be the same thing. You're going to copy, you're going to come down, you're going to use your OR symbol, and you're going to paste, and you're going to put this is 3, and then you're going to put that is 4, and then you're going to copy it one final time. And then you are going to add the 4 with your OR signs. 4, and then you are going to make this as 5. Okay, so now we're going to come down and we are going to do the same thing as up here. We're going to put val equals, well you can just copy this right here. This one's going to be an easy one. Well, if I can get it to copyright. Alright, so we're just going to copy that. We're going to come down here and we're going to paste it. And with this it's going to be 29 and then you're going to put 6 alright so just to kind of recap so you can catch up uh, we did the random num ran equals new random which will generate a random number with an int value of 0 that's where it's going to start now the value equals random dot next 1 to 69 this is how far you want the numbers to go. You can go to 1 to 1 million, however far you want, and it'll randomly pick a number between there. And then you go through and you compare if num2.text, which is slot 2, if num1 and num2 is equal, the value, let's say if 1 is 5, all right, and it's going to pick number two slot and it picks five and it says if five is equal to num1.txt, scratch that and regenerate a number for num2. This right here going all the way through will keep from duplicating numbers like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to save it and to have the button to actually generate the numbers, you're just going to call the private void and it's going to be uh, get numbers like so. So now what we can do is we can start the program and we'll minimize that as you can see we have our number generator. Now you can actually use this for uh, the lottery and things like that. Now let me point something out like here. You see you got nine that's in white and then nine that's in red. Any numbers in red can copy these because the Powerball is different. So you've got to have one, two, three, four, five numbers that do not have the same number. But with the Powerball it can be any number between one through twenty-nine or whatever number generator you're wanting to do. Let's say if you was just doing this to generate uh, some numbers for like a license key for an application, then num6 on there, you would actually come back and you would do the same thing. You would highlight and copy this, put it down, change that to six, and add num5 over here with the or symbol. Uh, 
So you can actually build on multiple numbers and go as long as you want and go from there. So this is just a little basic tutorial on how to build a random number generator and like I said I figured to be appropriate since the Powerball was one and it is back over to uh, reset to 40 million so if you think that you can build this and use it you never know it may give you the winning number now you can go as far as adding neural networks as I said earlier and you can actually compare the hot and cold numbers and go even further from that but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to build this in WPF add some logic and some things to it and build a neural network and train it to pick out the hot numbers versus the cold numbers over a period of six years or five years somewhere around there and try to get it down to where I can win on paper the Powerball one in ten tickets and if I can do that I will be doing something and I may uh, if I do win it on paper I'm not going to show y'all how to do it uh, but I will let y'all kind of let, let y'all see the results and everything like that. But if you like the tutorial and you would like to see more on how to build into the random numbers and be able to put them in applications, be sure to leave a comment below. Be sure to read the description. There will be some things in there for you to read. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit that like button. Also, turn on your notifications to get more cool tutorials like this. Uh, just about every single day, maybe every other day, uh, depends on what I'm doing, and I'm trying to get videos out every single day, but like I said, this is Ian here in the camp, and I will see y'all guys in the next tutorial, and be sure to keep it nerdy in the camp. Alright guys, I'll see y'all in the next tutorial.